Once considered a relic of the Soviet era, Russia's Ilyushin IL-96 is making a surprise comeback, and it's shaking up the aviation world, challenging Airbus and Boeing. The return of this machine represents more than just a resurgence of the aviation industry. It's a declaration of independence and an instrument of geopolitical power. So why is Russia betting so heavily on a design from the past? And how can this aging giant redefine the future of long-haul aviation? Let's take a closer look. The Ilyushin IL-96 was born not just as an airplane, but as a dream. The Soviet dream of conquering the skies in its own way. In the late 1980s, as the Cold War entered its final stages, Moscow dared to imagine an aircraft that could rival the mighty Boeing 747 and Airbus A340. The result was the IL-96, a sleek, wide-body behemoth built with ambition and defiance. It featured larger, aerodynamically efficient wings with winglets, a digital glass cockpit, a fly-by-wire flight control system, and four high-bypass Aviad Vigatel PS90 turbofan engines offering significant improvements in fuel efficiency, range, and environmental performance. But as the plane prepared to take off, the empire that birthed it began to crumble. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 shattered the foundations on which dreams rested. Factories shut down, funding evaporated, and entire supply chains vanished overnight. The IL-96, once supposed to carry Soviet pride across continents, now found itself caught between two worlds. Too late for the Soviet past, too obsolete for a Western-dominated future. But the IL-96 never died. It adapted, quietly taking on new roles as a carrier for Russian presidents, diplomats, and cosmonauts, its white fuselage gleaming with the weight of its symbolism. While airlines around the world embrace the efficiency of twin-engine jets like the 777 and A330, Russia's four-engine legacy still flies high as a reminder. Independence can be costly, but dependence is even more so. Then came 2022, the year that would redefine Russian aviation. Western sanctions grounded fleets, cut off access to parts, and threatened to clip the nation's wings altogether. But in that moment of crisis, the proud aircraft rose again, reborn as the IL-96-400M, upgraded with domestic engines, modern avionics, and a new purpose. It was no longer just an aircraft, but a statement etched in titanium and determined proof that Russia would fly its own way. From the ashes of a fallen superpower to the chaos of modern geopolitics, the IL-96's story is a living testament to the idea that even as history changes beneath its wings, a dream built to soar never truly collapses. So, how is the upgraded version IL-96-400M reborn? Like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next exciting take on the hottest comebacks and innovations in aviation around the world. The IL-96-400M is the modern embodiment of Russia's enduring aerospace ambitions, a fresh evolution of the original IL-96, connecting Soviet heritage with 21st century innovation. The elongated fuselage, at nearly 64 meters long, is around 9 meters longer than the IL-96-300, allowing the aircraft to carry up to 370 passengers in a variety of cabin layouts, from economy to multi-class premium seating. Inside, the spacious and thoughtfully designed cabin, measuring 2.86 meters high and 5.7 meters wide, offers passengers greater comfort through upgraded amenities such as an advanced in-flight entertainment system, high-speed internet, and satellite communications. But the aircraft is much more than just a stretched version of its predecessor. At its core, the jet is powered by four Avia de Vigatel PS90A1 turbofan engines, each producing approximately 38,000 pounds of thrust. These engines represent a significant improvement in performance, reliability, 
and emissions over previous Soviet designs. Combined with aerodynamic improvements, including a 60-meter wingspan with distinctive swept winglets, the aircraft achieves a range of up to 10,000 kilometers, allowing for sustained intercontinental operations. In addition, a change in modern avionics integrates digital flight management, satellite positioning, inertial navigation, and advanced collision avoidance systems, ensuring compliance with global aviation standards and allowing safe operations even in complex or remote airspace. While most of the world has moved to twin-engine performance, the IL-96400M's four-engine configuration offers an extra layer of redundancy and safety, a distinct advantage on routes over polar regions, oceans, or undeveloped routes where diversion airports are scarce. In addition to its technical capabilities, the upgraded version has a deeply symbolic meaning. Built largely from domestic components, it reflects Russia's efforts to ensure self-sufficiency in aviation under international sanctions. It can even be adapted for both civilian and military purposes, from passenger transport to airborne command. The aircraft represents not only technical progress, but also geopolitical resilience. With the IL-96400M, Russia has created more than just a jet. They have built a statement of independence, a combination of performance, pride, and durability in the modern sky. Boeing and Airbus have long dominated the global aviation industry thanks to cutting-edge innovation, efficiency, and vast international supply chains that span continents. And their success has also become their biggest weakness. In 2025, both manufacturers are struggling with supply chain disruptions due to strikes, regulatory hurdles, geopolitical tensions, and global shipping challenges. Airbus, for example, faces a severe engine shortage that has led to a backlog of unfinished aircraft and delivery delays, while Boeing faces repair costs and supplier delays that impact production and margins. These disruptions show how deeply Boeing and Airbus are embedded in globalization, making them vulnerable to external shocks that ripple through multiple supply chains, from avionics to engine components. But the new Russian jet also represents a radically different philosophy from Boeing and Airbus, prioritizing strategic independence and resilience over pure efficiency and scale. Unlike Western giants that rely on vast and fragile global supply chains, the aircraft is manufactured almost entirely in Russia, from the PS90A1 engine to the avionics and airframe, which helps Russia avoid the sanctions, trade disruptions, and export controls that often cripple Western manufacturers. While it cannot match the fuel efficiency, advanced materials, and noise reduction capabilities of the A350 or Boeing 777X, it offers practical value through autonomy, allowing Russia to maintain long-range connectivity, essential to its vast territory and geopolitical influence. In terms of cost, the IL-96400M is estimated to cost less than $100 million per aircraft, significantly cheaper than Western wide-body aircraft, avoiding the escalating development and production costs faced by Boeing and Airbus. However, Russia faces challenges in restarting mass production with limited domestic industrial capacity, the need to train pilots for older designs, and competition for scarce engine production resources between the civilian and military sectors. Russian domestic engines, while sovereign, are less efficient and have a longer lifespan than Western variants and cost more. However, the IL-96-400M's opportunity lies not only in its market competitiveness, but also in what it represents, a platform for self-reliance, innovation, and strategic resilience. While it may never dominate international skies, it gives Russia the tools, experience, and confidence to rebuild its aviation industry on its own terms and at its own pace. Do you think Boeing and Airbus are too dependent on global supply chains? Can self-reliance trump efficiency in the aviation industry? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.
With its modernized systems, upgraded cockpit, and improved passenger comfort, the jet still faces a key question. What really drove its rebirth? The answer lies not in the airframe, but in its heart, a name that has quickly become synonymous with Russia's greatest aerospace ambitions, the PD-35. It is the most powerful jet engine Russia has ever developed, a fifth-generation high-bypass turbofan with a rotor diameter of about 3.1 meters and a thrust of about 34 tons. It is also an improved version of the proven efficient PD-14 engine used for the Irkut MC-21. Building on that foundation, the PD-35 aims to deliver world-class performance, reduced emissions, and increased durability, positioning it to compete head-to-head -head with industry giants like GE's GE9X and Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB. Moreover, the engine is not just an upgrade, but also the golden key to the development of the IL-96400M. By replacing the four current PS90A1 engines with two PD-35s, Russia could usher in a new era for its wide-body aircraft program. Lower fuel consumption, reduced maintenance, and a truly competitive twin-engine configuration with modern Western airliners. In addition, the combination of composite fan blades, advanced heat-resistant alloys, and quieter operation means the jet engine not only improves performance, but also meets the increasingly stringent environmental and noise regulations shaping the global aviation industry. Strategically, the program is less about market share and more about self-sufficiency. Russian leaders and state corporations have clearly tied engine development to national resilience and long-term military sustainability, with government funding and political backing driving the development of the PD-35. However, key constraints remain, including limited mass production capacity, competitive engine priorities in military programs, global operational certification hurdles, and the cost and time required to expand the domestic supply chain. If the PD-35 is successful and goes into mass production, it could change the outlook for Russian wide-body aircraft. In short, it is a statement of technological independence, a signal that Russia intends to chart its own path, maintain its aviation industry, and compete globally even under the weight of sanctions. The PD-35 is more than an engine. It is a statement of resilience, commitment to self-reliance, and a vision for the future of Russian aviation. And so ends our journey to discover the IL-96-400M, a story not just about an aircraft, but about a nation's determination to continue flying on its own two wings. Thank you for your support to the end. Goodbye and see you again.